What's up, freaks? We're getting set up for a boxing, full hour boxing training session. We are all set up on all the different devices, all the different internets. Tighten up your shoes. We're gonna be moving around. A lot of footwork, a lot of punches, a lot of defense, a lot of counter punches. So it's gonna be punch, defense, punch. We're gonna get loosened up, we're gonna get stretched out, all that good stuff before we get started. So give you a second to get your gloves if you have them. If you don't, if you don't have gloves, if you don't have a bag, you can still do this just in the air, just with your bare fists. You can also do this in the air with some water bottles or light weights if you wanna add a little challenge to it. Doesn't matter, obviously you have a bag. We're gonna do some stuff in the air for practice, for shadow boxing, and then some stuff over onto the bag. So let's get rolling, let's get moving. We're gonna practice our basic punches, our basic defense, and then we're gonna be combining that stuff all together as we're rolling. So let's get started. If you're right-handed, if you're right-handed, let's go break shows, tag it, tag your friends in there, share this video, like this video, throw it out there. So your hands are up here. You're, you're right-handed, your left leg is forward, your right leg is back, elbows are in tight to your ribs, a little bounce in your step here on the balls of your feet, little flow. Little rhythm, little bounce. Before I'm even throwing a punch, I'm just getting that movement down, that footwork down, that stance down, bouncing around. Find a little rhythm. If I can find it in these bald white bones, you can find it somewhere inside there. Landing your feet, your one is your straight left. And it comes back in. You can see it snaps out, turns over right back into my chin, full speed. It's your one, your lead hand straight. It's your straight left if you're right-handed. Hands up, throw it out there. That's your one. Your two is your straight right. Don't forget on the Instagrams and all this other stuff. This is my right hand right here. So my two, right there, straight right. Turn, boom, turn that hip, snap it and recover. Look where this left hand stays when I throw this right hand. Look, boom, this left hand staying at home. I'm also not cocking this back. I'm not just throwing this little, little T-Rex bullshit punch here like that. It's right here. Straight out from a side view, pivoting this right foot, turning the right hip while the other hand stays glued up to the chin. Bounce around, move around in between. You need to get that blood flowing. Reset in between, keeping those hands up. I'm huh, huh. up. Wanna go right away? We can go right away. School class, we can just fight. All right, so our one, two, put those two together now. That's what we did. Straight left, straight right, one, two. Turn into it. Keep practicing those out while I'm yip yapping to you. So listen, sometimes these boxing classes have some cardio mixed in, some abs mixed in, some kicks and knees and elbows. Today is literally gonna be just punches and defensive moves. Punches and counter punches. Then there will be some core stuff mixed into that, but there's not gonna be a bunch of cardio stuff in. No, no kicks or elbows. We're just focusing on our punches. I want you to nail this shit down. All right, let's go to our three, our left hook, our three. Bounce, so left hook is coming from the side. Elbows bent 90 degrees, moving pretty much parallel to the floor while that right hand stays glued to your chin. You're pivoting, your left foot, swinging this left hip. Like you're a door swinging on a freaking hinge. Left hook is your three. So we're gonna do each punch single to practice and we're gonna add it on to that combo. The one, two that we just did. Move around in between, just single punch. Hip around, twist, turn, boom. The skinny tank top. Oh, the back's not too hairy yet. I had the gardeners come in and they take their lawnmower and I lay on the ground and they just run over my back. It clogged up the last one. They had to get some commercial one where the dude drives it. Because the handheld one just didn't work. All right, now put all those three together that we've done so far. One, two, three. Boy, pop me again with that punch. We are fighting to the death. One, two, three. So it's straight, straight, hook. Reset in between. Left, right, left. Bounce and recover. Flow. Let's go Instagrams and tweeters and Facebooks and MySpaces. Hands up, hands up. One, two, three. All right. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. In between here. Stretch those shoulders out. Fling it and stretch it. You've been training hard all week. By Thursday, you used to be sore as fuck like we are. I'm fucking sore. Upper, lower. Fucking legs, quads, glutes. Go some forward solar circles, backward solar circles. We're just getting loosened up. Stretch it, stretch it, stretch it, shake it. Shake it out. 
Here, I do the Gumby stretch. This is a, a very technical stretch I learned in, in Personal Trainer Academy. You just stretch it down and you come up. It gets you ready. It's a perfect stretch for boxing. It's called the Gumby stretch. It's a very technical stretch. <laughs> I learned that in Okinawa, Japan. All right, we're going with the four. Right hook. And recover. Right hook comes across on the side. Boom, right hand. Pivot that right foot. Whip the right hip. Dig, dig, dig. Boom. And reset, recover. Turn, boom. Hands up, hands up, hands up. Breathe it out. In between, it's just one punch at a time. We're just getting loosened up. Shake it in between. And put them all together. One, two, three, four. And reset. One, two, three, four. Reset in between, all four, then bounce, move, get that blood flowing through your legs. Even though we're only throwing punches here, we're not throwing any kicks, your legs should be getting just as much work as your upper body. Just from the footwork, just from the pivoting, the shifting of the weight, the bouncing. Punches the power comes from the ground up. One, two, three, four. So left, right, left, right. All right, stretch those quads out, stretch those quads. Hold it for a couple seconds and stretch. At the same time, you're working on that balance while you're stretching that leg. Alternating sides, getting a few times each side. Hold it for however long you need to. You need to hold for a couple extra seconds. Do what you gotta freaking do. Somewhere around one to three seconds probably. Stretch it. Get your legs ready to move. So you're balancing your step. Light on your feet. Leg you're standing on though doesn't lock out. Stay slightly bent. Stretching, stretching those quads. One more each side. We need to get them ready to move, ready to work. All right, adding in the five. Left uppercut. Coming underneath. Think about coming underneath the chin. Straight up and down from the ground. Little crunch in the waist. Short, choppy, crunching, punching. And reset. Five. Boom. Five is your lead hand uppercut. Your left uppercut. If you're right-handed. Round, bounce around, boom, five. Right hand stays glued up. And put all five of those together. I can't keep stepping on your foot. I'm going to roll my ankle. Watch your step. Straight, straight, hook, hook, upper. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Chain it together. One, two, three, four, five. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Hands up. What's up, Brega Khan? Join us on the Instagram. Hands up, hands up. One, two, three, four, five. Reset. Get those hands up. Move around in between. Circle. Pivot. Go. Bounce. All right, let's go six by itself. Right uppercut and reset. Six. Short little choppy punch. Hands up. Move around. Short range punch. Boom. Hands up, hands up, hands up. Right uppercut is your six. It's your rear hand uppercut. You might come under the chin or into the gut or a nut shot for someone that's real tall. With a nut back, just for that back there to punch. We'll get into that later. All right, that was your six. Put them all together, one, two, three, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, Six, reset. All six, we're flowing. Hands up, in between. And time, we are just getting freaking warmed up. Set your hips out here. So all this pivoting and turning and bouncing, you wanna stretch your hip flexor. Step back with your right leg, forward with your left knee. Bend your left knee while the right back, right leg stays straight. Up and across. Hold it for three seconds. Step and switch legs. Step back with your left leg. Reach up and high and across. Ah, oh, with your left arm. Open that shit up. It's gonna help you stay lighter on your feet. It's gonna help you with your pivots. Do a few times each side. Hold for however long you need to. Thunder force.
What was Deadpool? X Force? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. So we're going to practice this next round here in the air. We're going to practice the next round here in the air. So you're going to start. It's just going to be a jab, slip, jab. That's it. A one slip, one. One slip, one. And reset, move around. One slip, one. So straight left. Lean to the left, straight left. Simple. These are going to be pretty short rounds, so we're going to get tons of different variations in. So just follow it. Follow it. Let's go. One slip, one. Reset. There it is. If you have a bag, you can start in your bag now. I'll do some here in the mirror so you can see it. Whatever the hell is it called. Phone, camera, and then some on the bag. So one slip, one. It's our combo. One slip, one. Reset. It's only going to be like 30 seconds set, 30 second rounds. we got a bunch of combos to get to, a bunch of variations to get to. One slip, one. Keep that right hand up the whole time. Right away, you're going to switch into a two, slip, two. Other side, right hand, rear hand, two, slip, two and reset right to it. So no breaks, it's gonna be short sets. We're gonna switch up the combos throughout this round. So it's gonna be a long round. Two, slip, two, right there. Pivot that right foot, boom, slip, boom. Right there and recover, hand is up. Pivot that right foot, whip the right hip. Turn into it, keep it rolling. Two, slip, two, reset, recover. Hands up. Slip two. Leaning to the side, leaning to the side. Your slip is leaning to your side, not leaning back yet. So your slip is to the side, sideways, getting out of the way of a straight punch. Two, slip, two, recover. Two, slip, two, and recover. Hands up, hands up, hands up. Keep it rolling, freak shows. All right. All right, we're gonna go with a three and a block. A three and a block. Right here. So you're gonna go three, block, three. All right, three, block, three. Left hook, block, flow into another left hook. Let's do it. Left hook, a little closer range punch. Three, block, three. Reset. Three, block, three. Block three. Turn into it, turn into it. Hands up, move around, bounce. Hook, block, hook. You're rolling. Ha, ha, ha. Couple more. Boom, boom, keep it rolling, keep it rolling. A couple more, a couple more. So you here in the camera. Left hook, block, another left hook, reset. So it's just three, block, three. You should be working the abs like crazy. It's the core workout as much as anything else. Let's do it. Three, block, three. One more, one more, one more. And time, time. Shake it, shake it, shake it. All right, we're going the other side. Right away, right away. Not a freaking break. You're going four, block, four. Right hook, left block, Right hook. Let's do it. Right, block, right, and reset. Right hook, left block, right hook. Four, block, four. Right hook, four, block, four. Keep it moving. Get on the bag. If you have a bag, you should be on the bag right away. I'm just showing you here in the phone if you don't have a bag, but once we're doing these rounds, you should be on the bag the whole time if you have a bag. You practice one or two in the air. Arm punches in your strong hand. Boom, boom, boom. Four, couple, four. Four, couple, 
four block four. Ha ha ha! We have to rush it back here, giving us a lesson on bird piss and shit back there. About it. she's apparently now an expert. They taught that in the University of uh, Bird Shit in Russia, apparently, <laughs> about what comes out of a bird's ass. She's giving us a lesson on that during the boxing session. Right, Very important. You, know, you get edumacated while you're here <laughs> in boxing class. Block four. A couple more in the air for you. So that's right hook, left block, right hook. Right hook, left block, right hook. And time, shake it. All right, we're gonna go down to the body. Or sorry, we're, I'm gonna go with uppercuts. So our five is first. We're gonna add in, we're gonna do slips with these uppercuts. Not what we normally do, but hey, if you're in close and that uppercut is right there. So we are going to be here. It's going to be five slip, another five. That slip is actually crunching up and setting up another five. So that second five should be pretty damn strong. You're going five slip, five. Fives don't always have to come off blocks and whatever else. So five slip, five, boom. Upper crunch. Take this right shoulder to slip. You really want to get your head one to head's distance to the side so you get out of the way of a straight punch. So the way you do that, you take this opposite shoulder. I want to slip to the left. I'm taking this right shoulder and just slashing it down 45 degrees. Look, that's getting me out of the way. That's all it's doing. Slips have a little angle to it. You can't just go wobbling side to side. You'll have no structure. So five slip, five. Do it on this. Get off my nut bag. Don't knee me in the nuts. Don't knee my nut bag. Five slip, five. Reset. Five, slip, five. Left uppercut, lead hand uppercut. Five, slip, five. Reset in between. Hard punches. Because it's your weak hand doesn't mean it shouldn't have power. Both hands should have power. Deadly. In both hands. Alright, let's go to the other side. Six. Slip. Six. So you're going to hit right upper. Slip right, another right upper. Simple stuff. Just let it flow. Boom, crunch, boom. In nice and tight, in crunched. Just let it flow. Let it flow. Six, crunch, six. Switch it up, switch it up right here. Six, block, or six, slip, six. Right upper, slip, another right upper. Keep your eyes on the target. Punches. And comes back to the chin on that slip. And then fire it back out. going back to our ones except this time instead of one slip one it's gonna be one block one on the threes and fours it'll be three slip three and four slip four which means on the blocks or the uppercuts it's gonna be blocks with those so we're just reversing everything we did in that first round so now we're doing one block one one block one reset let's do it one block one hands up hands up shh, shh, shh. Reset. That's a straight left, right block, straight left, and recover. <laughs> hands up, hands up, hands up. My shirt went ages ago. Do it on the bag if you got it.
one block, one, reset. We did one slip one, we didn't do one block one. One. Keep your uh, uh, thoughts to yourself, please. No. <laughs> out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Stand. You're just silent the whole time. Out of nowhere. One block one. Well, I gotta start somewhere. One block one. Correct. You can be quiet now, and then no. we start speaking. Let's do this. You're not the coach. Coach is always the coach. No, we're working out. Stop distracting. Block one. Stand up, move around. Right away into a two block two. Now the other side. Two block two. Tons of core work here. You're working your core more than you realize. You're working that shit like crazy. Two block two. Two block two. Whip those hips. So pivot, crunch this way and block, and another pivot. Two, block, two. Please disperse from the nut bag. <laughs> Clear out. <laughs> two, block, two. Reset. Reset. Two block two. Hands up. Two block two. Time. Bring those arms down for a second to shake it, but it is not a break. Not a break. How much does the setup cost? That cage was. That cage is about over ten years old. It's made for eight bags. I have a piece cut out, so it's only for four, so it's smaller for the backyard. And that cage, it's like 800 bucks a cage, brand new, for eight bags. That's a four bag setup. You can get it probably even less, 800 bucks for that setup. But then the bags, of course, depending on what kind of bag you want. Water bags are the most expensive. That water ball is, water ball is only like 880 maybe, that, that nut bag. Really? This big water bag is probably the most expensive on the rack that was, 280 or 300 or something. All right, let's do it. So we're on uppercuts now. We're gonna go five slip, or sorry, five block five. You can block the head or the body, whatever you want. So left upper, right block, left upper. Let's do it. Five block five and reset. Because it's only one or two punches at a time. That's why this is a long ass round. You don't need a break. Five block five. Five block five. Move around, boom, boom, boom. Let's get on the bag and do it. First from the nut bag. Hard fives. Especially that second one coming off that block should be thunderous, vicious and violent. Oh yeah. Five block five. And switch it up right away, right away. Six block six. Again, you can block the head, block the body. Don't care. Six block six, right there, and reset. So right upper, left block, Another right upper. That second right upper should be so strong because that block is actually winding up like a rubber band, pulling back a rubber band, and boom! Tiger uppercut. Tiger. Street fighter, that's a special. Tiger uppercut. Sack it. Sack it, what we got. Like a passion. Street fighter. Six block, six.
hard, punches, hard right uppercuts. Ha, ha, ha! Boom, boom, boom! Boom, chop, boom! And time! We're gonna go back through all six punches. So we did all six punches with slips and all six punches with blocks. Now we're gonna rotate through all those six punches, but with just leaning back, leaning back, that's it. Just a rock, a rock back, which your timing and your distance has to be down, but that's actually the quickest way to get out of a punch. Because think about it, by the time you block and pick the punch and recognize it and block on the right side, or do any kind of ducking and rolling, or slipping and rolling and ducking, that takes crazy reflexes, crazy skill. A lot of times the best way is just to rock back. Rock back, get out of the way of the punch. So we're gonna go through each punch rotating through. We're just gonna hit one, rock back one. Then two, rock two. It's just a little lean back. Just get out of the way of the punch. Tice, come here. All he's going to do is get out of the way of the punch. He's just going to lean back. That's it. So he knows I'm here. Problem is, if you don't lean back, he's going to get knocked the hell out. I hope you got a good dental plan, boy. Ready? Go one, one. Lean back one. One. Lean. One. So he's going to lean back, and that coming forward is going to actually have momentum on his next punch. Go. Go, go uh, here. here. He's got to lean back. Go. Got it? doing the same target that's why it's hard see he's just rocking back that's it just leaning back rocking back just a couple inches that fist might be right in your face that's fine as long as you're gonna get hit it might even clip you it might even graze you but that's a lot better than getting hit flush and it's also the, the quickest reaction just to rock your face just out of the out of range of the punch especially for a big looping hook boom it's hard unless you have thousands and thousands and tens of thousands of hours of practice you're gonna be able to see that spot it and block under it and counter punch it like we do practice that, but let's just rock back. Let's go. You're gonna rotate between all the punches. I'll show you one full rotation here. Let's go. One, one, lean, one. Two, rock, two. Three, rock, three. Four, rock, four. Five, rock, five. Six, rock, six. Got it? It actually works better on the on the bag. Obviously, we're not punch the air. So let's go do it on the bag. Let's make it happen. Two, rock, two. Oh, I throw a six. I don't know. It just flowed for some reason. Two, rock, two. Three, rock, three. Four, rock, four. Five, rock, five. Six, rock, six. Just dipping your head back. It's like a slip. Put on backwards, that's it. You're leaning into your punches. You're just basically coming up straight. You're not hyper extending your back or, or, or extending your back too far. Because you're already here, so. Three, block, boom. Four, rock, four. Five, rock, five. Six, rock, six. Let's see if Rick shows, let's see it. Let me see it all rotate through them. One rock, one, two rock, two, three rock, three. And if you're not, if you don't have it down yet, if you're feeling off a little bit on the flow, just slow the shit down. Two rock, two, that's it. It's just really, see your stance is naturally leaning forward a little bit here, right? You're crunched in. When you punch, you're leaning forward even more. So really all you're doing is coming back. You see, I'm just coming back to straight. Maybe a drop backwards. You're not doing some acrobatic freaking ballet bend back bend shit or anything. You're almost just coming back to straight because you should be forward a little bit. You're just punch, getting out of range, bam, right back into range. That's it. Two, rock, two, three, rock, three, four, rock, four, five, rock, five, six, rock, six. Back around to the beginning, back around to the beginning. Hit, on, hit him up on the bag. One, rock. 
rock, one, two, rock, two, three, rock, three, four, rock, four, five, rock, five, six, rock, six, and time. Drop onto your backs, onto your backs for a quick. Yes. Doesn't mean the end of the workout, it means the end of the round, sucker. Yes. Yeah, little sucker thinks it's the end of the workout. Like we'd be done already. Let's go. Both feet up in the air. Legs straight, all the way down to your heels, graze the floor, and right back up. Go. Pin your lower back into the ground. Keep tension on your abs. Core is tight. Lower back is supported. Eight more. Last four, keep it strong. One, two, three, four. And time, and now you can shake it out and get a quick hydrogenation break. Stretch it in between here. Stretch your legs. A lot of bouncing and rocking and twisting. You're, you're, you're on the balls of your feet a lot. Stretch your calves out, stretch your glutes. All this twisting and shifting of your weight back and forth. Your hip flexors, stretch them, shake it. Of course, your shoulders, stretch your shoulders out. Keep it moving, keep the blood flowing. It's active recovery. Stretch them. Of course, I have my Herbalife and True Lean concoction for pre-workout. Again, it's filled up to the top of the pre-workout about 30 minutes before the workout. I drink half of it throughout that 30 minutes. I finish off half of it right at the start of the workout, refill it back up. So it's watered down a little bit, but still some good stuff in there. And then that last, just sip it throughout the workout. Need any help with your <coughs> supplementation? Just send me a private message. We'll send you some links or we can set up a call if you need some help to determine which type of supplements you might need. And yeah, I'm not talking or nothing. And we'll hook you up about meal replacements, pre-workout, post-workout stuff, whatever you need that you need to supplement into your already solid nutrition. That's a whole other story right there. Is your nutrition solid? No supplementation. Supplementation should not replace your nutrition, even though it's called a meal replacement, right? Whatever. But it should be built on. Your supplementation should be added to a solid foundation of nutrition already. It should not be your foundation of nutrition. It just shouldn't be. You need to be having that from a solid nutrition plan, re actual freaking foods, and then the supplementation is just added to that to make up for any places that might be need a little boost or help depending on your schedule, depending on your needs and the numbers that you freaking need, whatever the hell you need. All right, let's get our gloves back on and get back to it. All right, we're gonna keep playing this game. We're gonna go to two punch combos, three punch combos, same thing. Whatever the end of the combo is, the last punch of the combo, We'll hit that defense and we'll counter punch, repeating the final punch of the combo. I'll show you what we mean. So let's start with a one two. It's gonna be with slips. This whole first round is gonna be all slips. The second round will be all blocks. And then we're gonna mix them all together. So let's go. One, two, slip, two. See, we're just repeating. The last punch is just getting done a second time after the defense. Just a two punch combo. Go, let's do it. Let's do it. One, two, slip, two. Right there. That's it. Easy. One, two, slip, two. Right onto your bags if you're ready. One, two, slip, two. And recover. Full speed. You're doing only punches today. These need to be all out. Hard punches working with just punching. You need to work it with just boxing today. Move around. Two slips, 
the two. And time, we're going now two, three, slip three. So repeating, we're adding a slip. Whatever the combo is, two, three, we add slip and repeat the last punch. So two, three, slip three. Let's see it. Two, three, slip three. On the bag, suckers. We are rolling. Two, three, slip three. Reset. Last three should be strong. Hands up. Two, three, slip, three. Boom, boom, chop, boom. Oh yeah. Ha, 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 ha. Way, you're gonna go three four slip four it's gonna be vicious vicious combo three four slip four hard hard three four slip four let's see on the bag suckers three four slip four ha, 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 ha. those fours should be vicious favorite one of the day so far that one just flowed with vicious power and intensity get your heart rate jacked up there all right we're going four five slip five four five slip five doubling up that line that left uppercut that lead and uppercut let's see it four five slip five Four, five, slip, five. That's right hook, left upper, slip, another left upper. Four, five, slip, five. Four, five, slip, five. This is an intense round. Think of the most little first explosiveness intensity should make up for not be mixing in any exercises here hi now you're gonna go five six Slip six, another vicious one, viciousness. Five, six, slip, six. It's another uppercut. So it's left upper, right upper, slip right, right upper. Hard shots, all three, hard, strong, powerful shots with bad intentions. Let's do it. Five, 
Roll a couple more, a couple more. That's five, six, slip, six. Get that waist working, the obliques working, the lats working. Power's coming from the ground up. Five, six, slip, six, and five. All right, we're going now reverse order and we're adding in blocks instead of slips. So it's gonna be six, five, block. Block. Five. Jesus, it wasn't that hard. We don't repeat in the same punch. You had to think about it and pull out your abacus. No, I, no, I thought it was your little fruit phone calculator to figure out what it was. I don't have a fruit phone. Six, five, block, five. So six, five, block, five. So we're going to reverse order of the combos, adding in blocks instead of slips. Let's roll. Five, four, block four. Five, four, block four. A double right hook, pure viciousness. Five, four, block four. Going in three, two, two one. one. Rolling! Oh, that trip on the mark, carpet thing. Carpet thing. Five, four, block four. Five, four, block four. Close range punches. I almost punched myself in my hunker. I literally had the hook, I wasn't looking there, like that. Just missed by the hook on the nose. Five, four, five, four. Five, four, five, four. Oh. twice if you need help. Only three times if it's too late. Time. All right, we're going four, three. Four, three, block three. So you're getting a double solid left hook, crushing left hook. Four, three, block three. Blows, blows like butter. Ew. Yummy butter. Lard, fat, and butter. Oh yeah. Hard left hook. Sit on those hooks. Pivot. 
Give me that left foot. Whip the hip. Three, three, two, three, two, block two, three, two, block two. So that's left hook, straight right, block, straight right. Let's roll. Oh, three, two, two, block two. Three, two, block two. Three, two, block two. Three, two, block two. Three, two, block two. Block two. Three, two, block two. Left hook, straight right, block, straight right. Three, two, block two. Reset, bounce around, flow in between. Good for those feet. One more. And last one for this round. Two, one, block one. Easy stuff. Just two. One block. That last one should be boom because you're coming off that block. You're snapping your body, corkscrewing that one in there. Let's do it. Two, one, block, one. Let's roll. Huh. One block, one. Two, one, block, one. Turn into that last one, should be stiff and solid. Legs straight up in the air, alternating single leg, leg drops, or sorry, leg lifts, and then we're gonna switch halfway through. So you're starting both legs down in the air, one up, bring it down, other one up, bring it down, and hold. It's hovering above the floor, it's not resting on the floor. One at a time, make sure you're not arching your lower back, keep tension on your abs. Tight. Hold your ground. Stronger. Now bring both legs straight up. And you're going to lower one down at a time. Couple more 
side. On. All right. Pay attention, pay attention. We're doing six straight punches, a sprint, a one, two, one, two, one, two, right? Pay attention. One, two, one, two, one, two, slip, two. Then a one, two, one, two, one, two, block, two. Same thing for three, four, three, four, three, four. This is all in one round. Then three, four, six, three, six hooks, slip, hook. Six hooks, block, hook. Got all that? I don't think you do. We're gonna stick with just the straights. So six straights, slip two, six straights, block two. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, slip two. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, block two. One, two, three, four, five, six, block two. One, two, three, four, five, six, slip two. Just all the same between those. Keeping it simple for you. Go. It should be sprint. These should be burnout rounds. Full speed. Full speed round. Burnout round. Six, two, four, six, slip, two, two, four, six, lock, two, two, four, six, slip, two, two, four, six, lock, two. So I'll show you in the mirror in case you don't have it. In the mirror, six straights, slip, two, reset. All six straights again. Block two. Got it? A couple more times. A couple more times. Now that you got that shit down. All right. We're going to the other side now with still the straights. So two, one, two, one. Slip one. Two, one. Six punches. Block one. So it's just six straights now starting with the right. Two, one, two, one, two, one. Slip one. Two, one, two, one, two, one. Block one. Got it? Yeah. Yeah. Sir. Yes, Two, one, two, one, two, one. Block one. Two, one, two, one, two, one. Flip one. Two, one, two, one, two, one. Block one. Two, one, two, one, two, one. Flip one. Two, one, two, one, two, one. Block one. Ha 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 ha! One! Block one! Time! We're just burning through all these. Straight through, no break. Now you're going three, four, three, four, three, four. Slip four. Three, four, three, four, three, four. Block four. I'll show you one time in the air. And then we're smashing the damn bag. Three, four, three, four, three, four. Slip four. Then reset. Three, four, three, four, three, four, block, four, go. Let them fly, don't overthink it. Let those hands fly, sprint this out. This is a burnout, burnout, take it home. Take it home. Two, four, six, block, boom. Two, four, six, slip, boom. Six hooks, slip, hook. Six hooks, block, hook. Six hooks, slip, hook. Six hooks, block, hook. All right, now the exact opposite. Four, three, four, three, four, three, four, three, slip, three. Four, three, four, three, four, three, slip, four. I'll show you one time. Right hook, left hook, right hook, left hook, right hook, left hook, slip, Three, then repeat it and just finish with a block three. Go, start with the right hand. Four, three, four, three, four, three. Slip three. Go. Slip three. Now four, three, four, three, four, three. Block three. Burn it out. Six, five, six, five, six. 
slip six, five, six, five, six, five, six, lock six. So it's five, six, five, six, five, six, slip six, then five, six, five, six, five, six, lock six. Go. Begin. Fast. Burn these out. This is it. Last two rounds of the day. Five, six, five, six, five, six, slip six. Five, six, five, six, five, six, block, six. Five, six, five, six, five, six, block, six. Five, six, five, six, five, six, flip, six. Five, six, five, six, five, six, block, six. Last one, same thing. Six, five, six, five, six, five, slip, five, six, five, six, five, six, five, block, five, roll it, go. Five, six, five, six, five, six, slip, oh, sorry, six, five. Six, five, six, five, six, five, slip, five. Six, five, six, five, six, five, block, five. Slip, five. Block, five. Six, five, 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 six, Yeah, it was whatever number you said. If you said two, oh we would have done two. It would have been like literally one, two, done. Yeah. You said a hundred, boys. We're doing a hundred. Going in three, two, one, go. A hundred, two, four, six. We're gonna count. Eight, we're gonna go slow. Ten. This is like the short. Twelve. Done freak shows. Let's get a hairy knuckle fist bump for all the freak shows out there. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Ooh. She always told me they had to take their shirts off. I like it. Somebody asking you for it? No, they always take their shirts off. All right, freaking awesome job, freak everybody. shows. As you can see, if you didn't have a heavy bag, you could have got this done in such a, a, a small amount of area and still working your ass off like crazy. And all we did is throw punches and a couple sets of abs, that's it. We didn't even mix in the punch, the, the knees, the elbows, the kicks, you can mix in the cardio exercise to it. It's just a matter of getting this shit done. You have no excuse for not exercising. I don't care how long your the gyms have been closed, how long you've been locked down, quarantined. It doesn't freaking matter. Those are all excuses. That's why this is right here on my forum. So I never forget it. No mother flipping excuses. Exactly what it fucking says right there. Anyway. Let's talk about what is coming up. We have a charity event coming up. It's bench pressing a whale. It's literally gonna be a 24 hour weightlifting. There'll be more details coming soon on the dates and times and the charity for that's gonna be for. It's literally gonna be, we're gonna be up for 24 hours lifting weights, 24 hours straight, seeing how many total pounds we could lift in, within 24 hours. And this was all based off being able to bench press a whale. Whale weighs like 300. 350,000 pounds. So we're gonna be attempting 
to bench press a freaking whale. That's coming up soon. You'll have some information on that. It's going to be a fundraiser for charity. The last couple we've donated, we've raised over $5,000. That went to Big Brothers Big Sisters. We have a couple different charities that we're rotating through. So the information will be out on that soon. Coming up next week, I will be off the grid for most of the week. I'll be out in the trenches administering the project on about 20 men who are looking to become even better husbands, even better fathers, even better entrepreneurs, leaders, and even better fucking men. And that's the April class, class 008 of the project. The next class coming up after that is in June, which is already about 85% sold out. And then August, which is already about 65, 75% sold out because these things, even though it costs $12,000 per person, these things sell out months and months in advance because you have to schedule travel time. You have to mentally, physically, and emotionally prepare for it. There's an onboarding process where there's literally coaching and guidance leading up to that class itself. So there's months worth of coaching and guidance leading up to the project itself. Then during that time, here in Southern California for those four days, you don't have to worry about a place to stay, what you're gonna eat, transportation around town, all the training gear and supplies, absolutely everything's included for those four days of the actual project but the real the true value and beauty of the program is that after you graduate if you graduate and that's a big motherfucking if if you graduate because there are is a 40 percent dropout rate in the project yes you heard it right men pay twelve thousand dollars they fly across the country some even from international from other countries and then they quit they quit on themselves like they've been doing their whole lives but that's the whole purpose of the program is to weed out the weak and help the ones that really actually want help. But again, the real, uh, the real value and, and the true beauty of the program is after graduation, you literally become part of this ongoing lifelong brotherhood of hungry, motivated, successful, kick ass men of fucking fire that you can relate to that are like minded and they understand you and get you. This is for obviously for men only. So you, you, it's, a support system that men these days just don't have. It's something that's non-existent for men, having that support system, having that camaraderie, and that's what happens after graduation of the project. If the project is just not for you, it's just not a good fit for you, and it's definitely not for everyone, we could talk about one-on-one, -on -one, private, peak performance, accountability coaching, and that's just with me and you in a one-on-one -on -one setting, all virtually from anywhere in the world, I have clients all over the world, where we meet and literally are staying connected on a daily and weekly basis to help you level up in your mind, your body, and your business. So if you want some information or wanna hop on the phone and talk about if the project is right for you or if you just need some one-on-one -on -one coaching, let's talk about it. We'll jump on the phone, we will go over it and see what's gonna work best for you. Awesome freaking workout, another hairy knuckle fist bump. You're fucking awesome. In case no one told you that yet today, no excuses, and I'm sure a little freak show has something he wants to tell you. No! Excuse! Very, very, very normal child. I can't imagine who gets it from. Little freak show waking up the neighborhood. I will talk to you later. You are fucking awesome. No excuses.